This lab is one of the most exciting investments that I think Boston College has made. I'm Ethan Baxter. I'm a professor here in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences at BC. I'm the director of our brand new clean lab facility in Tim's facility, and I'm an isotope geochemist. Tim stands for Thermal Ionization Mass Spectrometer. One of the systems that we're working on right now is reconstructing the cycling of water and carbon dioxide through the Earth's interior in places called subduction zones. The devastating Sumatra earthquake and related tsunami, that was triggered by a subduction zone earthquake. So the, the process that we're looking at in deep history that we can reconstruct from looking at the modern rock record help us to learn about the, the process that are happening in, in modern subduction zones today. So just to walk over here, this is our TIMS or thermal ionization mass spectrometer. What the TIMS does is it takes a sample from which we have extracted that particular element of interest, that neodymium, that strontium perhaps. We load it on a tiny little metal filament. We pass a current through the filament, just like a light bulb, it glows. The current thermally ionizes the element. It gets hot and that heat causes the neodymium to evaporate off and be ionized. Those charged ions then get sucked down our flight tube and they go around a magnet around a corner. And the lighter isotopes corner tightly, whereas the heavier isotopes barrel around that corner like a big Mack truck and end up on the far end of our collector block. The collector block is down here. And then we can very precisely measure the isotopic ratios between those different masses. This is a shared Boston College resource. It's something that we're very passionate about and very excited about. I'm the director of the facility, along with uh, Professor Corinne Wong, also in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. Some of the exciting examples that we're, we're already thinking about and building upon here at Boston College um, are collaborations with folks in, uh, in history, folks in classics, who are really looking at ar archaeological uh, artifacts. Those are some of the collaborations that transcend the earth sciences, transcend the environmental sciences, that really excite us. Let's take a look at that strategy of 